Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I have spent all morning just going through videos, just making sure that everything is um, as it needs to be before January 1st tomorrow. I've noticed that some of my videos have already been tagged as made for kids, even though there's really no difference between those videos and other videos. I, I, I just, I'm full of confusion. It's difficult because here we are, tomorrow's January 1st, and there's still not a lot of clarity about what's considered children's content. Um, I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious when like little sing-along things or, um, I don't know, episodes of Peppa Pig or something are, I mean, obviously that's made for children content, but it does get very tricky with, with where we are with the whole family vlog thing. Um, because the FTC has laid out pretty specific guidelines about what's considered child content. And the part where I get stuck is even though I don't discuss children's topics and I don't discuss childlike things, um, I mean, I do stuff with my kids and naturally that could raise some interest um, from, from younger audiences. But I know I don't make this content with children in mind. I know I'm, I know my general audience and the, the part where I get stuck, which is why my videos are marked the way they are now, is because YouTube says if your family vloggers and your general audience is not children, like you're not making your videos for kids, then you're generally safe. But um, the FTC very clearly states that videos with children's actors or characters, basically anybody under the age of 13, if they're in your video, then you are considered, it is considered children's content. So I, I don't know where we stand. Do we take the YouTube side where it's like, it may not be considered it. However, I have had some videos already marked as made for kids, not by me, but by YouTube. They've obviously gone through and they've marked probably about 70 of my over 1,000 videos have been marked for kids. But Roman has the day off. Um, he also has the day off tomorrow. Tomorrow's a holiday here. And so he's home and the kids are home and we're gonna have a nice day. We're gonna do Rocklet tonight, which is pretty traditional on New Year's Eve. We also, I also bought like some sparkling grape juice kind of drink for for the kids. And I thought they could drink that in glasses tonight. We did tell the kids that they could stay up if they wanted to and I think Callum is really gonna try to stay up till midnight. We bought a few little sparklers and things for the kids but no crazy fireworks. Hi Elsa. Elsa wasn't appropriately dressed so Elsa will not be in the video <laughs> until she's dressed. Um, but we bought a few little fireworks and just a little, not, not, not like crazy fireworks or anything. Definitely not going out. Uh, definitely staying in our area and definitely going to stay away from places like Neukölln and Kreuzberg and like apparently it gets crazy. Everything I've read on expat groups and parent groups have said just stay close to home because apparently it just gets taken to a whole new level here with people unloading fireworks at their own free will and I don't know how that's legal in close quarters, but okay. Okay, Rocklet 3.0. Third time in a, whoa. Third time in a week. What? So we've got potatoes, we've got pickles, bell pepper. Count's got some Parmesan cheese. We've got corn, we've got ham, we've got salami. What's coming on this? Yes. Okay, uh, we've got some chicken that will go on the top. Oh, Roman, will you get the oil? Yeah. Um, onions and mushrooms. And then Papa has decorated. <laughs> He's decorated. Oh, and we've got the sparkly. Are you going to open up? No, you can do it. We've got Robbie Bubble. What do you do? Yeah. Party for kids. Mommy, I bring that at school. You did? Oh, I thought it's, no. oh. Like, no, you uh, like, Roman, come on. <laughs> you thought it would be like pop -ins. A pop -in, yeah. Like a real, real deal. No. Let me see yours. You want it in your special champagne glass? Okay, start with that. We have to do a cheers, okay? 
a family cheers to 2019 and starting off 2020. Our last New Year's, just us. So cheers to family! Yay. Merry Christmas! Happy New Year's! Happy Yay. New Year! I like your straws. Papa got those straws. I've got red. <laughs> I need more from this. Let's let's have to here. Come on, Papa, Papa, come on. Let's let's have to from here. I'm done. Wow. All right. I need more. From Papa, this. your turn. <laughs> How does the straw work? <laughs> Woohoo! <-hoo. laughs> <laughs> we've got a box well we don't have big fireworks we've got like little sparkly ones family friendly ones you getting sleepy you got to make it till midnight boo <laughs> mommy are we staying right into morning yeah and we're staying right into the morning that's pretty long yeah if you can make it we live where a lot of families live so it's mostly just families out where we are so I'm not too concerned about being out but we would never go into some of the places in cool. Berlin. I wonder if you guys can even hear just how loud it is with all the fireworks out in the distance. Roman had the idea of walking up over the train bridge and seeing what we could see out in the distance because where we live, we have a pretty good view of um, the general area. So the plan is, like I said, just to go on top of the train bridge, see what we can see in the distance, um, and just have a really nice night. Oh! Do you see those? Yeah. I love these kind of nights where it's just fun and unplanned. Uh, Linnea refuses to wear shoes. So, <laughs> she's in the stroller. She refuses to wear shoes. She wants to just be cozy. Oh! Whoa. I feel like I'm always just a second too late. Do you have it solved? You wanna do it too? You just want to sit? Yeah. You like watching? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Clean it all up. It's <laughs> hot. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, sweetie. <laughs> I think this will just blow out. Yeah, see, it just blows out. <laughs> Ooh. Is this fun? No, I think it just makes sounds. I have this one. Whoa. Whoa. Woo. Tell <laughs> do you see the fireworks? Oh, there's some. Awesome. Mm, and hey, you've got your whistle. <laughs> he is so cute. Oh, I can't deal. <laughs> oh, my little almost six year old. <laughs> Here we go. Is this a different one? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to put your shoes on and join us? Oh. Do you want to do you want to put your shoes on and get out? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she might be getting sleepy. 
<laughs> All right, Lynn is participating now. Yeah. <laughs> Still from the comfort of her stroller. <laughs> All right, is that fun, Nini? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's sticking her hand out. <laughs> Yeah. Last one. Yeah, I think that's the one. Woo! Lene has joined us. She put her shoes on. Look, Callum. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, somebody's shooting fireworks right in front of us. Holy moly. <laughs> See, you have your own show. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we had some people join us. Callum, what do you guys think? <laughs> Basically, we're just uh, trying to light them all and be done with it. <laughs> we have 40 of these. So, hinter dir, Woo! Lucky day! What's fun? Lucky. Mami, is schon aus. Oh, Linnaeus is out! Woo! is <laughs> out. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woo! I'm almost out. And we're out, that's it! No, oh, it's five euros. Is that all you Just found? in the air. Oh, yeah. Just five euros? Just there too. Well, that was fun, so shall we clean up? Yeah, now clean up. Linnea, come here. Do you guys see all the fireworks out in the distance? Yeah. Gosh, it, the camera, you can't even, it just doesn't pick it up. It's too bright and Yeah, it's too far away, but it's so cool, just. Oh, look, Nay. Woo! I just can't, I can't get over how loud it is in the city tonight. I cannot get over, can't get over that. And these two have just had a blast. They've had the best time. Back inside having ice cream. And we're catching up on fireworks around the world. We've got Sydney going right now. Okay, the kids are bathed in their jams. We uh, got a puzzle going on here, you know, it's kind of dark. We've got the Brandenburg Gate concert thing happening. Oh, two minutes! The final countdown! Really? <laughs> yeah, we're down there.
down all the trees. Jeez. <laughs> Just, you know, cars parked right there. We're having our own party. Sieben, sechs, fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins. Happy New Year! It's 2020! You guys did it! You guys stayed awake! Happy New Year! <laughs> Come here, kiddos! Happy New Year from Berlin! This is our city. Oh. Really though, the European Union song, is that on purpose or is that how it is every year? I, I don't know. I don't watch it. <laughs> Cause that's a very strong political statement. <laughs> Could a trauma still go in every <laughs> What? I don't know. Fireworks outside of the window, fireworks on the TV, kids going nuts. I think he's got his second wind. Puzzles, that's how we're starting the new year. Puzzles, look Callum. It's so loud. just right outside. I am not even sure what to think right now. That's a first. Wow. Happy New Year from Berlin. <laughs> what are we watching, Papa Bear? First of all, we got the kids to sleep. They were tired. <laughs> yeah. But what are we what are we watching? Uh, London fireworks. Yeah, it's almost midnight in London. Two minutes, about two minutes to go. <gasps> that sound. Oh. That gets me emotional. <laughs> I love it. just so beautiful. Wow. You see Canary Wharf? No. I don't either. I love this. Fireworks are over and Roman is going to bed. 
I'm going to stay up just for a little bit and talk to you guys and close out close out the vlogs for the year, close out this decade of my life. Um, it's especially been really sweet knowing that this is the last holiday season, just, just the four of us. And this isn't to be taken wrong, but like Cal and Linnea, Roman and I were such a tight knit group because we've been, we've been so close for the past four years. I mean, our, our little family of four has been through so many changes. The baby honestly could be born anytime, you know, of course I'm, I'm 32 weeks tomorrow and, but his actual due date, I mean, it's like eight weeks away and that's kind of the next big thing besides Callan's birthday and Roman's birthday. It's like, that's going to be, that's going to change our family dynamic in so many ways. And I'm, I'm nervous about that change. I'm nervous for the kids, how they'll, how they'll adjust. I'll be honest, a part of me is going to miss just this little family of four that we've, that we've had for the last few years and just how, how special it's been. At the same time, I know the kids are excited and I'm so excited and Roman's excited and I know that once we meet this little guy and get him home, I know that all of those fears of transition will kind of fade away because we'll all just be so enamored with him. Life as we know it is about to change and the unknown is a bit scary and exciting and lots of emotions all at the same time. And it's the end of a decade too, which brings lots of lots of thoughts because 10 years ago I was 23 and gosh how much has changed since then I've moved to Germany I moved to Germany in 2010 got engaged in 2011 we got married in 2012 we got pregnant in 2013 had Callum in 2014 Got pregnant with Linnea in 2015, had Linnea in 2016. We also moved to the UK in 2016. We moved flats in 2017. I mean, and again, <laughs> after that. 2018, Callum started school. He started reception in the UK. In 2019, we moved back to Germany first time here in Berlin and I just I think about how fast these 10 years have gone and how gosh how momentous they were it makes me realize how fast these next 10 years will go and I just want to be present for all of it be 100% present in the lives of my children and most importantly I just wish you all lots of health and happiness and it's just, it's 2020, 2020. <laughs> so happy new years. We love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support that you've shown us through all these milestones. We'll see you tomorrow. Crazy.